Hello again. In this mini video I'm going to show you two things. Firstly I'm using an off the shelf cold cure roofing resin that are starting to become more popular these days as fiberglass roofs become more mainstream. This will be a test at 0 degrees centigrade or 32 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll give you the cure in times also later on. Secondly, a lot of people will tell you that you cannot apply roofing resin through fiberglass matting. Whilst this is technically accurate and to the book, it's factually incorrect. I will be laminating four square meters of a bay roof with one layer of 450 gram CSM, which will obviously be 900 gram at the joints. To do this effectively, technique is everything. If you are considering trying this yourself, start on a small scale. And keep in mind I've been fiberglassing for many years now, so I tend to make it look easier, a bit like a plasterer does when they plaster a wall. Having said that, don't let it put you off. It really is quite easy when you get the knack. Also, if you are interested in making your own cold cure resin, visit my website fixmyroof.co.uk for full instructions on how to make your own cold cure resin. When applying the resin, don't skimp, be generous. That way the resin will seep through the matting rather than sitting on the top of it. Don't be afraid also to top up with more resin if you think it needs it. Roll backwards and forwards to push the surplus resin through the mat. Here's the technique for any details, it's a jabbing motion with the end of the brush. Later on I'm going to be adding another layer of 450 CSM to the mop stick to strengthen the joint. You will probably notice that the matting is now starting to turn transparent. This is the binding agent breaking down in the chop strand matting. This is exactly what you're looking for. If you're using a blue coloured roofing resin, it will now probably start to turn a dark brown. Don't worry, it's not hardening. Cold cure resins do seem to go brown faster than standard roofing resin. I'm about halfway at this point and I've just mixed another batch of resin. Never work with too much resin in one go. It's so easy to mix more, it's just really not worth the hassle of heaping pressure on yourself by mixing too much, even on a small roof like this. This is a better angle for you to see. Here you can see how I'm pushing the excess resin through even on the joint. Push some through, push some more through. If there's too much, just move it elsewhere and push it through the matting there as well. It's a matter of working the resin through to the underside of the mat onto the decking and then consolidating it on top. Be careful near the edges though, but again don't skimp. Have a small consolidation roller on hand. This is if you see any bubbles and to roll your joints or overlaps. This will consolidate them down and make sure they're perfect. I can highly recommend a fin roller as described on my website. On the upstands, Push a nice big tide of resin uphill and you will find it wets out very fast this way. If you're wondering what the purpose of the sheeting is on the slates, it's to keep off any drips of icy water. We are, as I've said earlier, working at zero degrees today, however the sun keeps popping through the clouds and just tipping the balance so the water is melting and dripping down and obviously I don't want any of that water to come in contact with the fiberglass whatsoever. So that's just there to soak up any drips. Here's a close up of the resin. You can see the CSM binder breaking down in this one. It's the whitish patch in the middle. This is the even bubble free look that you require. The joints have been consolidated at this point. As you can tell, it's down very, very well. Well that's it, another roof done here. And here are the drying times for the cold cure resin. 
Incidentally, it would be about the same drying times if you were to make your own cold cure resin also.